Hey guys, Dave from Cook and Cheer here. Today we're making up these savory and delicious slow cooker meatballs. I call them meatballs galore because you can use them for so many applications such as subs, spaghetti, you name it, the sky's the limit. I know you're gonna love it, so let's get started. What I've got here is half a kilo of ground sirloin and that's about a pound and you can use lean ground beef as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine this with half a teaspoon of sage, half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of rosemary, about the same amount of salt, and the same amount of pepper. For our binding agents, just to make sure the meatballs stay together nicely, we're going to go ahead and add in half a cup of breadcrumbs, and you can use just about any type of breadcrumbs you want. Followed by an egg, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and last but not least, I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of about five drops of Tabasco just to give it some heat. Okay, I'm just going to begin with a wooden spoon here and just mix this until it begins to combine. And you get the real sloppy part over with. Then I'm going to switch to my hands just to make sure everything is really well mixed. Until it looks something like this, and this is basically a mega meatball, you can go ahead and cook this up, but I think I'm going to break it into smaller pieces. So what we're going to do here is scoop up basically a heaping tablespoon, place it in the palm of our hands, and we're just simply going to shape it into a meatball. Set the meatball aside on a plate, and of course we're going to repeat this process for the rest of the mixture. Once the meatballs are all made, go ahead and add about four cups of your favorite spaghetti sauce to the crock pot. And in this case, I'm using our very own homemade spaghetti sauce, and I'll put a link to that below. Place the meatballs in. I'm just going to take my spoon here and just kind of push them down so they're covered with the sauce. Throw the lid on and we're going to let these cook on low for about 7 or 8 hours. While the meatballs are cooking, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss a video. After 7 or 8 hours, our meatballs are nicely done and they smell ever so good. As I said earlier, there are so many different applications for these. But what I'm going to do today is put these into the center of a bun. Add a little more of our really yummy sauce over top of the meatballs. Followed by some grated mozzarella, or of course you can use your favorite cheese. And we have a meatball sub. Of course, you really don't have to make meatball subs. I'm going to encourage you guys to be creative with these meatballs as possible. And whatever you do, please leave us a comment and let us know. And there you have it, our simple and delicious slow cooker meatballs. And believe me, these are just simply delicious. Head on over to cookandshare.com for this recipe and many more great recipes. And don't forget to click to subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.